Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. So I've got another video today for you. So this is uh, week one, day four. So it's the uh, final um, day of week one. Uh, so starting off with some 12 inch deadlifts. So I'd only had one day's rest. Um, I last trained on Sunday, rested Monday and today's Tuesday. And I've got to tell you, uh, from Sunday, after the Sunday session, my quads were really pumped up. I think it must have been during the heart shock exercise. And uh, it's been a struggle just walking, basically. Um, my thighs literally feel on fire. They feel like they're twice as thick. Nevertheless, I've still gone into that today's session anyway. Um and uh, yeah, pulled 230 for six. And um, this was quite easy, actually, just as I thought it would be. I wanted to do an easy six and walk away feeling like I could have done 10. And I think I could have done. So um, just three exercises to do, basically. And this 12 inch deadlift is the first of them. And uh, so far, so good. Exercise number two. Farmers holds. Uh, uh, this is uh, coming up in the competition. Um, unfortunately, this didn't quite go to plan, really. So I always like to do um, a couple of warm ups first before I get to the main weight. So for the first warm up, I'll just hold for ten seconds, and then uh, for the second warm up, I'll hold for just five seconds. Um, just real quick holds, really, because I don't want to fatigue my grip. Um, not using any chalk on this. So that's the two warm-ups. Um, now moving into the main set, uh, which was 109 kilos or 240 pounds per hand. The plan for this was to do just one set, but to hold for 60 seconds, not to failure. I didn't use any chalk. Um, unfortunately, after about 20 seconds or so, um, the farmer's handle pretty much started to slip onto my fingers what it was is I rushed the setup and I didn't properly get my hands um, around the handle like I should have done so what happened is after about 20 seconds the handle rolled onto my fingers so for the last 20 seconds I was basically holding um, the left hand side was fine it was the right hand side it basically just slipped down and went onto my fingers basically um, now that wasn't to fail you, I probably could have held for about 45 seconds, but when I got to about 30 seconds, it was obvious to me that I wasn't going to get the 60 seconds that I wanted to. Um, so after 40 seconds, I decided to put it down. Probably could have gone to about 45, but I could have got, no way I would have got 60 seconds. I really wanted 60 seconds, and I would, wanted to do it without chalk. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, I, did, I rushed it, didn't set my grip properly, and it slipped onto my fingers. This time, I got the setup right. Uh, unfortunately, because my grip was fatigued from the previous set, I only managed 25 seconds. So what I'm going to do next time will be a little bit more weight. Uh, but this time, I'm going to use chalk, and I'll just aim for 40 seconds uh, next time. So now, third and final exercise of the day, sandbag to shoulder. Again, this is another um, event coming up. So now we're going to do a 230 pound sandbag to shoulder. e on for 10 minutes straight. I've edited out the rest times. So this sandbag is 230 pounds. And basically going to lift that from the floor to the shoulder. One rep every minute on the minute. e is every minute on the minute for those of you who don't know. Uh, so now I just sit down and rest for the remainder. And I have to do one rep every time. So that's our first set. This is the second one now. And uh, yeah, this was really easy actually. So uh, I'm really happy with that. Um, so it was a decent session. 12-inch um, deadlift, 230 kilos for an easy six. And uh, this sandbag, 105 kilos, 230 pound sandbag. Um, managed to easily get all 10 sets. If you look here, for some of them, I was actually trying to one motion this sandbag. It was that easy. Um, so, yeah, definitely going to be 
um, going up higher on the weight of this next time, possibly 120. I'll probably have to go to a different gym for that though, because the only bags here are 40, 72, 105, and the 136 bag. Um, I will try to at some point get the 136 bag for um, Emom, uh, but I want to. I don't want to. As this is only the first week, I don't want to go up too quickly too soon. But yeah, the, the, like I say the, the 105 sandbag was easy. So um, other than the farmer's walk or the farmer's hold, other than that, which was a complete balls up, the rest of the session went really smooth. Now, with the farmer's hold, if I'd have set my hand position properly, I would have got 60 seconds. I'm quite confident with that. With chalk, definitely. Um, but without the chalk, I'm still fairly confident. But um, last I just rushed it, didn't set my hand properly. I must make sure that I don't make that mistake come the competition. Because come the competition, I'm only going to get one chance. And if I fluff it up, that's it. It's all over. Uh, bear in mind, um, on the competition, the weight will be 120 kilos. Uh, so next week I'll probably will go to a, about 120, but this time I'm going to use chalk and yeah, just see if I can get 40 seconds roughly. Um, but I want to be able to do that not to fail it. If I can hold it for 40 seconds, but know that I could have done more, then that's fine. I mean, for those of you who follow my video, you'll know that I've held 150 kilos in each hand for 25 seconds. Um, but I, I find for me, endurance becomes a problem. With farmers, once I hold over 30 seconds, that's where I start struggling. And uh, in the competition, it's only 120, and I'm sure that there's probably going to be guys there that are easily going to do a minute, so I need to make sure that I'm also capable of that if I've got a chance. Right, so that was sandbag, all 10 sets done. So a little bonus set now. So I wanted to do a little experiment here, and um, I wanted to see if I could lift that um, 300 pound sandbag in a fatigue state. So I do the 105, bear in mind I've already done 10 sets of this already. And I wanted to see if I can do this in under 60 seconds because on the day of the competition, it's a 60 second time limit to lift the heaviest bag possible. So um, I want to see if I can lift this 300 pound sandbag in a fatigue state. Bear in mind that on the day I would have done four previous events. And uh, it wasn't easy, but I managed it. So I think on the day I'm confident I can do at least 140 kilos. I will do a few more experiments with this in the, in the coming weeks, but... I think on the day, I think I should be able to get at least 140 minimum. So I'll put that over there just so I wouldn't have to uh, put it away again. So yeah, other than the farmers, I'm really pleased with this. So a good end to week one. So um, I'm going to finish the video up here. Uh, please join me again on Thursday where we're going to begin a brand new week. So that's going to be week two, day one. And we're going to go back to pressing. So again, I'm going to practice the logging to Axel, uh, this time with more weight. So um yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. So um, thank you very much and uh, see you soon.